Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about uterine artery ultrasound pro positioning. On the left side is a schematic diagram showing pro placement. This is the umbilicus. Down here is the pubic symphysis. So this is the pelvic region. This white box is the ultrasound probe and this red dot is the indicator for the orientation marker. The patient will be in a supine position. A curved array transducer which is known as a convex or abdominal probe is used for scanning the abdomen and pelvis with a frequency range of 2 to 5 megahertz. This is a transabdominal approach. The transducer is placed on the lower abdomen just above the pubic symphysis with the probe marker oriented towards the patient's head. This will give a longitudinal view of the uterus. Our main focus here is to locate the uterine artery. So first keep the probe in the midline in this manner. Then sweep the probe side to side and also up and down to visualize the uterus. Focus the area between the uterine body and the cervix that is the internal cervical os. This is the landmark where you will most likely find the uterine arteries. They are usually seen at this location being lateral to the midline and when you apply color doppler you will find pulsatile vessels at this location. So these will be the uterine arteries. You can start by locating the uterus first and after that you can locate the cervix. Then you can focus on the area between the uterine body and the cervix. And by applying color doppler you will be able to find pulsatile vessels. These will be the uterine arteries. They run along the cervix. So identifying the cervix can be a useful landmark. When color doppler is applied, you will find the pulsatile flow, which will basically be an alternating color between different shades of red and also some shades of blue. This will indicate a pulsatile flow. This feature will help in distinguishing the uterine arteries from nearby veins. After you have located the arteries using color doppler, you can then place a sample volume over this pulsatile flow for spectral doppler analysis. So you can measure peak systolic velocity and diastolic velocity, resistive index and pulsatility index and then you can calculate the SD ratio. Make sure that the sample volume covers the lumen of the artery. The sampling gate size is usually 2 millimeters. The angle of insonation should be less than 30 degrees. So you can get accurate spectral Doppler values and three consecutive waveforms are required for sufficient spectral Doppler analysis. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.